Wherever Kush is, Bronson is a perfectionist about getting closer. He is glued to me. All day he's glued to me. He is my shadow. I work 24 hour shifts with the fire department. Once I get home from work, Bronson, very happy, dancing and jumping everywhere. Are you getting a bath? Come home and take a shower to get all cleaned up. If I open it, he'll happily hop in. If I walk outside, take out the trash, sit at the door waiting for me to come back in. Nighttime, wash my face, getting ready for bed, go throw his paws on the counter and just stand there and wait. Bronson was very much so attached to Ryan, but I don't, I don't really mind. Cuddling your dad? Oh. Oh. I've got my guy Kush, but I was pregnant during the first year of the pandemic. Bronson just knew something was changing. We brought Prue home. He was in the car seat, so I just put the car seat on the ground, and they both were on each side, just sniffing them. Kush, good boy. We knew Bronson was gonna have a little bit more of an emotional Adjustment. Who are you trying to meet your brother? He was a lot more nervous, kind of skittish. He's going bye bye. Like, oh my gosh, who is this little creature? And why is my dad giving him all of this attention? Where's Bronson? If crew started crying or screaming, Bronson would distance himself where no matter where Kush was in the house, the second that scream happened, it was, what's going on with my baby? Bronson was like, why do you guys have another kid? I'm the baby, now I'm not the baby. The biggest one for me to realize like, hey, he's jealous is when he moved from the bedroom to the living room. What are you doing? Are you just hanging out here? He slept on the couch for months. When I was like, okay, like he does need to adjust. We need to do work and make sure Bronson still gets the attention he needs. Coach still gets his attention. <laughs> I would just set my alarm 30 minutes earlier than I normally would get up for work. And I would just cuddle up on the couch with them 30 to 45 minutes and just having that quality one on one. But Bronson was waiting for those morning cuddles. A lot of work every day, hours a day working with the dogs and the baby. When crew wakes up, spending time together. Went a long way with him building his relationship with crew where it wasn't something that was taking his dad away. It was just another thing that's part of his and my relationship. Still my baby. I just got another baby too. He didn't lose his dad. He gained a brother. And this is just part of our relationship. Yeah, I think the biggest way that I've noticed that Bronson loves his new little brother is previously, if crew made his way over there, Bronson would just move away with his Bronson. toy. Bronson, your brother got your toy. Where now he just sits there with crew and he is the only person Bronson gives his stuff to. Mm -hmm. Crew just thinks Bronson is just hilarious. Being now hyper vigilant, the thing that I'm watching too is Bronson's body language. He's moving around, they're kind of chasing each other. He is not trying to get away from crew, he's actually playing with him, and they're both enjoying each other. Bronson made his way back into the bedroom. Um, can I help you, sir? He's just back in the room in his happy space. I'm not a very emotional person, but those are the little things that I'll get choked up about. <laughs> Watching that and being like, okay, we're doing it right. Cruising. Bronson wants to be wherever crew is. It's, it's awesome to see that he's just one of the pack now. Oh.